Welcome to Basic Brewing Video. I'm James Spencer. I'm Steve Wilkes. Today is a topical beer. <laughs> it's in the news. It's in the news. Uh, the, uh, the beer is called Black is Beautiful, and it's the creation of Marcus Baskerville of uh, Weathered Souls Brewing down in San Antonio. Uh, and it is a, uh, it's a beer that's being brewed by around a thousand, I think, at, at the last count I saw, a thousand breweries around the world. Uh, and not only is it a big, beautiful beer, but it's got a, a social education and a social justice and social action component to it, uh, where these breweries are being asked to donate 100% of the profits for this to local nonprofits in their area. And if you want to hear or read more about that, go to uh, blackisbeautiful.beer, or you can listen to uh, the episode of Basic Brewing Radio that I did interviewing uh, Marcus um, of Weathered Souls, and you can hear all about it from direct from the source. Uh, we're just gonna talk about the beer part today. <laughs> if you wanna hear about uh, the, you know, the social aspects of it, it's best to hear directly from, uh, from uh, the man who started it all or to read that website. Uh, now also, uh, there is, if you go to the, Associate, or the uh, American Homebrewers Association website, you can find the recipe that was uh, uh, Annie Johnson, who is uh, past uh, Homebrewer of the Year, uh, was also the first woman Homebrewer of the Year and the first uh, black person Homebrewer of the Year. Uh, she translated this recipe into the uh, homebrewer's uh, scale for us. Sweet. So uh, this is what this recipe is based on. So you, you get you, you go to the website and, and download the recipe because there's a, there's a whole lot of stuff on here. <laughs> Are you ready, Steve? I'm ready. Okay, this is a five gallon or 19 liter batch. I uh, start off with uh, the strike water of uh, 9 gallons or 34 liters at 154 degrees Fahrenheit or 68 C, which is a little warmer than usual. And to that I added 10 pounds or 4.5 kilograms of 2-row, 2 pounds or 900 grams of oat flakes, 1 pound or 450 grams of chocolate malt, 12 ounces or 340 grams of barley flakes, 12 ounces or 340 grams of crystal 120, 12 ounces or 340 grams of roasted barley, 8 ounces or 226 grams of chocolate rye, and 4 ounces or 113 grams of black patent. So a lot going into the grain bill. Uh, and so I rested for a little over an hour at 154 degrees Fahrenheit or 68 C. Collected my wort. And since uh, I started with more water than I usually do, and so this is such a, uh, such a big beer, I, I boiled for 90 minutes. And th so for th after 30 minutes into that boil, I added one ounce or 28 grams of Columbus at 15.8% alpha acid, and I boiled that for the remainder of the boil, 60 minutes. 30 minutes later, I added a pound or 450 grams of cane sugar, and the recipe calls for dextrose but I screwed up, so I put, <laughs> put table sugar in there. And uh, 20 minutes before the end of the boil, I added two ounces or 56 grams of Cascade at 5.5% alpha acid. 10 minutes later, at 10 minutes before the end of the boil, I added two ounces or 56 grams of Cascade again. And I chilled down uh, the, uh, at the end of that 90 minute boil, I chilled down uh, using the assistance of my uh, pond pump to recirculate ice water. Uh, through there. And then I uh, pitched uh, Imperial A10 Darkness. Now the recipe calls for uh, California ale yeast, but you and I, Steve, we decided to go toward a darkness, which is the, um, the Guinness yeast, I think. Yeah. Uh, started out at 1080, uh, final gravity 1016 for an ABV of 8.6%. Uh, and I have to say that, that I used one fresh package of the darkness, and then you had a package that had just gone past the four-month shelf life, and you donated yep. it to the cause. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. from stevesbrewshop.com. So, thanks for the uh, contribution. Uh, but it fermented uh, really well, uh, and I guess that's it, other than tasting it and uh, saying that it's, it's just a big... Delicious beer. 
All right. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the first, I tried, uh, this is the second bottle that I've tried, uh, and the first bottle that you will have tried, right? Yeah, I haven't tasted it at all. So, so, so here we go. Dee -dee 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 -dee. And this is the first bot full batch of beer that I've bottled in a long time. Oh man, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful beer. It's the first full batch of, you know, five, whoa, it's <laughs> that's a Steve Wilkes pour. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's in a, it's in a uh, Pilsner glass, so it's real skinny. <laughs> and, it, and that's what it wanted to do. <laughs> mine, mine is, I, I've got the traditional uh, English uh, nonic uh, pint here. Uh, I wanted to bottle this because I knew that if I put it in a keg, that it would be gone in a hurry. <laughs> yeah. And, so, yeah, and a you know. big Russian, it's a Imperial Stout, right? right. It's, and so, uh, it's kind of an it, American Imperial Stout because of the hops. Uh, yeah. And then the recommended yeast, again, is the California Ale Yeast. Um, we went uh, British on this. Or, no, I'm sorry, Irish. Holy moly. Oh. That's really good. <laughs> I could take my glasses off for that. <laughs> oh. This I beer, the, I, the other night when I tasted it, I tasted it cold, and it was kind of like um, sharp, bitter, dark chocolate. But then mm -hmm. the more it warmed up in the glass, because I took my time as I was drinking it, it became more almost like a milk stout because of the, the way that it mellowed in the glass, and the more of those rich, chocolatey, milky Lord flavors Almighty. came through. It tastes like, um, wow, I don't know. It, it tastes almost like chocolate ice cream. Mm. But it's big, dark chocolate. It's dessert. It's amazing. It's really, really good. And I don't think the fact that I traded cane sugar for the dextrose, I don't think that yeah. it definitely didn't ruin the beer. <laughs> and I can't, I, I don't know that it may, well, of course, you know, I'd, I'd have to brew it again with the dextrose and maybe that's, you know, something I want to do, but. I don't think it would, it wouldn't, you didn't, there wasn't enough in there to make it, make a difference, I don't think. But there's no like cidery character or no, anything like no. that. Um, no. If anything, it probably dried out the beer a little bit, but it's plenty chewy. Um, you know, finishing at ten sixteen. Oh yeah. But yeah, all the, you could walk on this stuff. <laughs> all the all the the uh, you know roasted barley and chocolate rye and and oat flakes and all that in there is just is. You know, it's a luxurious beer. Hmm. Wow, boy. We can't both sip at the same time because we, <laughs> we can't be both yeah. speechless at the same time. <laughs> well, I mean, that's just a, that's just a big, luscious, uh, I get a lot of roastiness. It's got a sharp, it's got a bitter, bitter sharpness to it for sure. It, what it reminds me mostly of is um, that kind of bitter dark chocolate that you get, you know, like you buy a fancy candy bar. You pay like eight dollars for, and and the chocolate came from a hillside somewhere in Guatemala. Yeah. That they only grow you know, once a year, and uh, and so it's like it's really bitter, but it's really good. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah, it's like and, it's like you know ninety percent cacao or whatever the you know whatever. Yeah, the, uh, exactly. Yeah, and, and they yeah that's what it reminds me. Of. It's it's definitely a grown up flavor. Um, mm. so it hits my mouth. It hits me first, the sweet hits first, but then it finishes really dry and even grainy. It kind of has a graininess toward the end for me. And, um, woo, I've already, I've already got the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's uh, a big beer. There's no doubt about it. It's not it. small. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> you want to you wanna hang out in the honeycomb hideout for a little while after you have one of these. But look at the head on oh yours. Oh boy, it's really sticking around. I'm telling you, 
And jeez, uh, the, like, lacing on yeah, the glass. Well, kudos, um, many kudos to to Marcus Baskerville and to Andy Johnson mm. for uh, for bringing this recipe to us home brewers. Check out uh, Black is Beautiful dot beer and uh, Weathered Souls Brewing, and uh, I, I would bet that that this beer or some version of this beer, because people are doing variants, you know, adding chocolate and coffee and doing, you know, barrels and all that kind of stuff. Right. Uh, it's probably coming to a brewery near you. So check it out and uh, try this, try this beer. Man, come and visit us online. At basicbrewing.com, you can find archive lists of our audio and video podcasts on home brewing. You can also find our DVDs and our Brewer's Logbook, where you can track and log up to 50 batches of beer. If you're in Fayetteville, Arkansas, stop by Steve's Brew Shop or find him online at stevesbrewshop.com. It's like you melted a chocolate bar. Yep. I'd, I'd, put, a, I'd put a big old scoop of ice cream in this. <laughs>